Hey guys, it's Kelly. We're acting to my big brother no longer works for me. Um, it's kind of sad because I was looking forward to them two working together. And, like their dynamic is great. I love their dynamic. It's funny. And they only filmed that one video of um when Ashley left with her parents to Florida. So yeah. Also, me and my sister filmed a TikTok. The links for it's on my Twitter, and I made a YouTube post. Jesse, the where's the video is at? It's well, it's a tale video. as old as time. If the McJuras channel does not have a reliable, talented camera person to capture the drama, then things kind of get a little stale. We end up hitting these hiatuses with people coming in and out, and it is quite hard to find somebody consistent, trustworthy, that can actually deliver a good quality shot and capture the craziness. And we've been through our fair share of camera people, and uh, we kind of played into that when we made a big announcement just a couple months ago with my brother Jeffrey becoming the new McJarian's cameraman. Well, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. Yes, that's right. We're coming clean. <laughs> it just got to the point where it's just not a sustainable system. Having my brother pretend to be the cameraman. I know, guys, I was pissed. I was disappointed, betrayed. That's right. But it is what it is. A quick recap, guys. We uh, we witnessed the 18th Dang. departure of Swift uh, from the channel. Uh, we announced this at this very spot <laughs> four months ago. And uh, then two months after that, Big Brother Jeffrey signed on to be the new MJ and cameraman. A lot of you guys were pumped. I was excited as well but there is a video in which I offered Jeffrey a hundred thousand dollar salary with a monster sign-on bonus and that salary was mainly just to compete with the job that he currently has that's right I'm saying has because he still has it. <laughs> in this video is a very real conversation uh, I try to talk my brother into joining Ridges Studios full-time as you know Jeffrey has done YouTube uh, a few times quit his job tried to do YouTube again and it just wasn't working out and I think we can all say we miss Jeffrey now not only do we miss one of the journey's channel but we miss him producing videos so i was like this is it this is the penultimate jeffrey cycle let's bring him in videos. and we kind of bum rushed him ashley and i to try to get him to sign on and he hard passed that's the part you guys didn't get to see so i'm about to show you what really happened that day and the alternate ending the real ending to the job offer and for those of you that don't want to watch the long-winded reasons why jeffrey didn't want to partake i'll give you the tldw version he said no, he wanted to keep his main job, so I decided, hey, well, you know what? I already planned out this whole arc, and this is just weird that I'm like letting you guys in on this, but I hope you see that like we're entering a new phase of the McJuggernaut's channel. Uh, I was shocked he said no, and so with the plans that I already had in my mind, I'm like, well, you know what? Well, I mean, if, if Huey has a job, I remember him saying the video about the health insurance and stuff and how much he was making, like, that's a guaranteed thing. The first thing about YouTube, Jesse can't guarantee that he's always going to get paid the same amount. Because it's going to be determined how much he gets paid for YouTube each month. You know what I mean? So that's the thing. It's not a guarantee. I love YouTube. I want to make this my career. But it's how, but when it comes to hiring people, it's not always a guarantee of how much money they'll be able to make. You know what I mean? So that's the thing. So I kind of understand why Jeffrey, because it's safer. You know, sometimes, you know, it's okay to play safe. You know, sometimes you have to play it safe. You know, and he's gonna be married, you know, next year. You know, he has to make sure he's financially set for, you know, his future, you know. I'm sure he's gonna want, him and Miranda wanna have kids too at some point. So, you know, he has to make sure he's prepared for all that. Whatever, we can go into you know, kind of scripted mode and we can still understand. have you become the cameraman and then we still play out the series as it was supposed to go. It's just, you're not getting paid years. for it and you're not actually my cameraman. You'll be filming all the videos, but you're just not employed, which it just became weird at that point. Uh, Jeffrey's kind of working for free. I think he was down for it, but it ended up being an issue because Jeffrey would get home from his job at like 5, 6 p.m. And then we live 30 minutes apart now, so by the time we'd be, it'd be ready to film, we're rushed and we ain't got time. And then he's got to get up at the butt crack of dawn for work the next day. <laughs> he's trying to like live a double life. And then also it's one of those things, it's hard yeah. to get really balls I deep in a story or, story or consistency when he's not actually the camera person. Because I like to build that relationship with my number two and we get better together, we evolve, and then we can start taking the story all kinds of different places. We actually have a solid team. But this, this was like we had a pretend camera, team <laughs> with the pretend yeah. story, I'm and I, I kind of lost interest at that point, and it also just became too difficult for Jeffrey to balance a job and pretend work for me, and I'm like, what are we doing here? We're, we're, we're both each other. And so that's why when you saw the last video really was, uh, you know, Ashley and I in Florida and we were in North Carolina and I know some of you guys were expecting content. It was one of those things, Jeffrey hadn't quit his job. And like I said, I was pissed. 
So what does that mean going forward? It means we're gonna need a new McJarian's cameraman. The search is on. If that's you, let me know, dead ass. Like, this is no no storyline. Like, we, I need a cameraman badly. Because I would like to make videos. I'm feeling pretty good, and I want to build a new relationship. The thing is, though, he doesn't need a cameraman. Or he can't even have Ashley help him film stuff. You know what I mean? Like, that's the thing. Why give my, why? Like, I understand, like, if he was doing, like, a series, like, MBE. But just to do, like, you know, your regular type of videos, like, he can do them himself or have Ashley help film. You know, I don't know. I just feel like, why pay someone money? if you don't need to like i just feel like a cameraman is not really something you know he necessarily needs i think he can get by just himself like he's been he was doing that for a while film like last cycle series he kind of filmed on his own you know except if it was you know one of the freak out videos you know psycho dad destroying something but usually he was filming them himself so you know and he was doing that a lot so i, I mean i understand it would be easier, but at the same time, I think the videos could be just as good as him, him filming. He has Ashley to help him film. Somebody. I want you know, somebody new. So, so if I you've been know. a long time fan, if you just know the channel really well, you're professional, you know, you're, you're eager to learn and you're ready to work hard, let me know. But anyway, uh, I'm going to roll. You have to keep in mind, too, remember he, already, he has an editor. Now he said he didn't, that I guess the editor doesn't want you know, his name out there, so he's keeping it kind of too hush-hush, but remember he said that he has an editor, so he's already paying someone to edit from, which I don't understand, I feel like, again, he can edit his own videos, editing is not bad, like, I don't mind editing, because I just feel like it makes it more special, you know, like, to know you did that, you edited the video, yes, you recorded it, but then, to know, you edited this, you know, you made it, like, I don't know, I mean, I'm not saying one day I wouldn't want to get an editor when I'm bigger on YouTube, but All the I don't footage from that, that fateful so day where Jeffrey said no, because I'm sure Jesse's you guys are curious to hear, like, his actual thoughts. Minutes. But stay tuned to the end of the video. If you want to skip through it, by all means, just skip to the end because I have an important message. So, here we are. This is the, uh, Regis Philbin final answer moment. Drum roll. Here we go. I must decline. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, speak your piece. <laughs> so, no secret, Mary and I are getting married next year. I don't know if we've ever privately said this, but we're probably gonna start trying mm -hmm. for the little Jeffries. That makes sense. A couple months after, mm -hmm. and I just can't commit oh, to wow. not having a set schedule. That's the that's the big one. That's one of the big ones. Makes yeah, sense. I can't just up and leave Kate and with Miranda for like two weeks. Like that wouldn't be fair to her. If kids are on the way, like I need the health insurance that I currently have, the dental, the vision, everything. Is there everything. also a factor that you could get laid off at your current job at any point? I'm not worried about that. So you think you're safe at this job? Yes. Do you think you'd be safe with me? Uh, I think so. However, I, and I, this is this is a big one too. I know it's been contentious between us at times, and I feel like recently it's been getting better, like our relationship. And I don't think us working. Like, me working for you would improve that. Honestly, I think it would be a detriment to it. That's sad. That's sad you think like that. That's very... Well, you know what they say, you never work with family, you know, you never work with friends, which I understand because tension could get high, especially like this, you know, like they can argue about stuff. Like, so I can see what he's saying there, you know, the relationship is good. Why do you want to try and risk it by working together? You know, because again, you can butt heads, you can cause issues. Cynical. Well, You've you know, been, so if I, anything, I as soon as you there. moved out and then have gotten this job, you know, we hardly see you and it's well, I don't been. don't live there anymore. Right, but also then there's less things that bring us back together. Well, if like you said, like I'm not saying I won't be in videos. Like obviously I would still mm -hmm. like volunteer my time to, to assist you when I can. Like that's still the same. So like we haven't really been making any in the last year. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's why we picked up. You know, you get the benefit tremendously to where the awkward part. I thought you were gonna come back with different reasons why, but your reason why was actually an argument in favor of taking this job because you know that you'll have flexibility. You know that you'll have freedom that was the benefit of mom working at the canvas company it was a family business right. you take off whenever you want all you do is ask me if you had kids you get to stay on your kids if you work a nine to five you're not gonna see your kids for most of the day because generally I have itinerary of when we're going here true, true. and the amount of Good trips points. probably won't be that many but also it gives you experiences that you wouldn't have gotten in this job uh, that you're currently at but the cool thing is is that you're like yo I'm gonna I mean, that's the good thing about YouTube. You are flexible, so you could be with your kids more. You know, Jeffrey working 9 to 5, he is going to be away from the kids pretty much like a whole day. 
Because, you know, 5 o'clock, it's like evening time, you eat dinner, and then you start to settle down for the night. And he's going to be tired. So, like, Jesse makes a good point there. It would be more flexible for him, you know, with the kids, having kids. So, it's going to be cool to see Jeffrey, father, and Jesse, and uncle. But anyways, you know, so take that's a, a good point, too. They go for it. I'm your brother. Points. I understand that. Your boss is not going to let you take four weeks off. I will. The flexibility and freedom comes with this job. Ultimately, like, like currently, like, I don't post on social media. I, 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 mm -hmm. I barely, like, do anything on social media. Right. Like, if anything, like, I comment on Twitter, like, maybe one time a year. Like, Why? It's not, I just don't care. But you haven't really done it because you haven't really done it. Dad also, a lot of people were very anti social media, Twitter, whatever, now are finally seeing, oh my God, there's so many people across the globe that love us, support us, brightens their life up because you might not realize it, but people look up to you. This is like one of those things where your brother's like trying to get you to work with him and you don't want to, you don't want to do it with me. I'm paying, I'd be paying you handsomely. Uh, I have some other I think counter negotiations in, to in try that and- example is more of a, that's more of a partnership. I don't want like an employer employee relationship. Why? Because I think it could... It's gonna be cynical. Change your brain to start thinking of like, how fun would it get to be to work with my brother? Because- we have worked with you for years. Right, and it's been good. Oh, not always. <laughs> The actual a few arguments that we had outside of it was mostly about scheduling because you were working your day job when we were shooting one of the biggest shows on the internet. I and so obviously you. I'm like, hello, wake up, Jeffrey. We got millions and billions of people watching this <laughs> Stop worrying about so much like that because I was pushing to do YouTube then Not and you could have made a killing. So I would get frustrated because I feel like I see the light and then you were deciding to stay with the track that you've been on, which... I mean, YouTube, you know, it does have potential. You could do good on YouTube. There's plenty of all YouTubers that do, that could make a good living, you know? So, YouTube is not a bad thing to pursue, you know? Because you can get so many opportunities through YouTube, like making music, could potentially be on TV, look like Superwoman, PewDiePie, a lot of those big YouTube. I mean, granted, yes, they have millions and millions of subscribers, but still, you know, they're written books like there's so many opportunities you get by doing youtube so youtube is a really great idea you know and plus too you can help people like you know jesse has helped me so many times when I'm, when I'm down and sad or going through something i just watch his videos or even like just college and the structure me. the very structured yeah. path when we had one of the biggest <laughs> shows so yes. i'd get frustrated and be like hello I want our relationship to be better, but I feel like like working me me working for you in that capacity, I think will make it won't it won't be good. If that I love you, I, I want things to be good between I us. I don't that. want if you want them to be good, then we make them good. But you're self sabotaging what I'm could going, be something really good. I'm countering your offer by saying I want to continue to volunteer in your videos. Like I know, but you know you have zero time. What I want from you is you to be around more. Your brother's trying to foster the good relationship and you're sabotaging it and creating a reality of our relationship. You know, you have a lot of experience because we've been doing it for so long. We're well aware of each other's mm -hmm. buttons or aggressive mm -hmm. tendencies, whatever. But even if you got pissed at me, which there was plenty of times mm -hmm. that you did, I don't give a f because I've been in plenty of friendships, relationships where you do fight and all the best ones are the ones that give a f We need to be challenged because if we don't give challenge will never grow i think we're just gonna disagree here mm -hmm. i don't think we're gonna be changing any each other's minds on that what other new ideas can i really come up with that hasn't already been done by us a lot a million i've played that same game where it's like we've done it all now you barely even f scratch the surface of what can be done once again it's a defeatist mindset have you taken too many l's to where you just don't see it any i mean though but like certain things like when it comes to psycho series like i know people want psycho series too and stuff but Think about what else can they really do with it? They destroyed everything, destroyed video games, they destroyed a car, a whole room in the Martin building. Like, so not much more you can take it, you know what I mean? Like, that's the thing to think about. You know, I know he's not just talking about that exclusively, but when it does come to sex, it's like, that is something you really can't do much more with. MVE, there could be potential to do maybe a prequel of MVE, you know? Or like a sequel. Potentially. Well, that's the other thing. Like the 2017, 2019, I had left my job for YouTube uh, both times. If I do this one more time, that's it. Uh, that's why it's the penultimate Jeffrey cycle. I can't do it. True. I've got too much time and money invested in my career right now to just torch it. At this point in time, I am fighting tooth and nail for Jeffrey Sayas. My brain is actually like short circuiting because I, I okay, literally okay. bet everything. I bet the whole house that he would say yes and that we could carry with this whole arc on. 
I mean, like I said, Jeffrey has a lot of good points. Jesse made some good points too about having flexible timing and stuff, you know? That was a good point, but Jeffrey made good points too. If this job is a sure thing, he makes good money off it. He has a set schedule, you know? Especially like he said, they're getting married last year and want to try for kids. So you got to make sure you're, you know, financially stable for that. So I Make sure that, his channel. You know? Him I saying no was like the ultimate from. monkey wrench. Cause I'm like, wait, if Jeffrey doesn't Six say minutes. yes to be the camera person, who am I gonna film with? I'm like, what the freak? Cause I didn't, I didn't want Ashley to like She's be my camera girlfriend. person. She's my girlfriend, yeah, and I just feel like I want somebody to train somebody and somebody to be really good. And to I mean, I get that, you know, it's a girlfriend, but you know, like if you're doing like the odd vlog, so you can just you know film some stuff. You know, like it'd be different if he's planning on doing like a MVE type series. But I remember him saying he doesn't want to do a series like that on YouTube, so. Like my boy, you know. You know just Ugh, it's that. just sad. It's just sad watching saying, me desperately like... try. But you could just tell Jeffrey's not having it. I, I I thought of every single. Another thing about the camera, look at the camera he's been through. Corn, Parker, Swift, Dom, Nick. You know, like that's five people already. I know Dom, I don't know if you really consider him a cameraman. He did film a little bit. But, you know, even if you don't consider Dom, that's four people. That like was with you for what like about a year and it didn't work out so i don't know that's the thing you gotta think about that too think about the history of the camera and competition they always leave so it's really worth it to go through all this one finding one then they just leave like possible strategy in the know. book and he was just not if having was, it uh, him, it just I wasn't meant to be, be but it, it's admirable to watch you know i'm not trying to like be a debbie down or be mean but you gotta be realistic here do you really think it's worth it to keep high on camera and if like after a couple months to a year they leave you know that's just kind of stupid i don't know like obviously jesse's channel he's gonna do what he wants but i think the videos could still be just as good if it was just him filming and actually filming stuff you know like i don't think a cameraman is gonna totally you know make or break you know <laughs> keep trying opinion, to but. sell him on it <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'm sorry because I feel like like you wanted this to happen really badly, and I. I'd imagine you'd have new environments, new people, yeah. new novelty. I don't care about new people. Oh my god! You're miserable, <laughs> dude. Listen to yourself. I don't care about. It's so <laughs> sad. About new people. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ! Who hurt you? I don't care about new people. Oh, well, I'm still like if you're gonna film something. Let yeah, me know, I understand man, I that. Can... Nothing like fully changes on that aspect, but yeah. then it still doesn't help you in regards to the fact that you're locked into this job for the, your whole life. I have such gaps in my resumes because of those two times that I left. Right. I can't afford to. But just has it torch... stopped you from getting a job? Clearly not. Not not those two times. So there's always jobs out there. I also like the structure of like having a nine to five. I. I like going someplace every day. Mm -hmm. So what was the turn then when you went from 70-30 well, to I, then... I, I'm not gonna lie to you. So if he works nine to five, he does have to get up on the butt crack at dawn, if you think about it. He can, probably wakes up at seven, so he can, you know, get ready. So, but Jesse's saying, oh, he has to wake up at butt crack at dawn. If he goes to work in for nine, I mean, depends how far away his work is from his house. I can't imagine being too far away. Just saying, wake up at seven, you know, do what you do your morning stuff get ready i mean for guys it doesn't take them long to get ready so you came over uh, after i had I many thing. seltzers oh okay <laughs> maybe that was the so like, yeah, yeah that sounds pretty good maybe that was the 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 real jeffrey there uh, that's been buried and uh, needs to come out because of alcohol yeah alcoholic uh drunk jeffrey doesn't make good decisions i don't know maybe they're <laughs> the best ones because they remove the uh executive jeffrey they do but it, it never pans out well <laughs> Trial lay body you know what they say though, guys? Drunk mind collagen. can sober thoughts, so... I don't know if you guys believe that, but I've heard that many times. I mean, I don't know, honestly. I, I, I believe it. Hmm. So, yeah. I mean, I can't fault the guy. He's got really good benefits. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more consistent and secure, mm -hmm. and the hours are, you know what they are. The crazy thing about all this is literally just the other day, Jeffrey got a promotion at his job. So it was like the universe saying, like, you made the right call not him. joining your bro. Will Jeffrey still fill in as a temporary camera person? Yes, I'm sure he's down. However, like I was saying, I do need a new camera person. So let me know in the comments below. I'm going to read through if there's any prospective peeps, but... Wait, what about that new person that's moving into the Ridger house? You can have them, right? you know, be a camera person, right? I don't know.
I mean, also, not? just shoot me an email, tweet, whatever you got to do to get in touch with me. Send me a reel, send me videos. If you edit, if you do thumbnails, if you film, if you want to do it all, if you want to be in front of the camera. I'll be honest, I'm not looking for somebody to be in front of the camera as much. We have plenty of people that like doing, like being in front. I want a technical person. I want somebody who knows their equipment and knows cameras. Knows the YouTube space, knows all this stuff, because I'm tired of people coming in and just wanting to, you know, either make their own channel or have their own content. Ideally, you want to grow Rigid Studios and the McGiants channel together as a team, and I'm looking for that player because I will reward you quite handsomely over time with the proven track record. And I would just, I'm looking for a new bestie. I'm looking for a new best friend, a new number two. Uh, but I want you guys to get excited. We do have four videos coming out after this one. Uh, we did some crazy real life stuff. And uh, speaking of Jeffrey, something big is about to go down with Jeffrey. I couldn't be more excited for this. You guys will see what I'm talking about in the next video. But hey, let's try and bring it back, guys. Let me see the love, support, the hype in the comments below. Um, drop some likes in this video for me coming out and telling you guys the real behind the scenes scoop. And I hope you guys understand, like, I do enjoy making content and I don't mind vlogging and stuff but it's so much more fun when you have a camera person and you get to kind of see the the office style okay. mockumentary humor with the pop zooms and the the camera yeah, work and that. it's just so much of a better viewing experience and it's more fun to have that dynamic so sometimes I'm not as motivated to film if I don't have that good person to bounce off of you know YouTube to me was always just fun with my friends and I feel like where are they at <laughs> where are they at but trust me I'm gonna be a hard we ain't just friends, but I want to be able to have a good time, you know? I want to I want to enjoy making content, and sometimes when it's just you by yourself, it's not as fun. I would like to have a posse. I'm super excited because we have somebody moving into the rigid house within the next week, so that'll be fun to bounce off of that person, but uh, we're looking to get some more. So will there be another competition for camera people? Will there be a competition for people to move into the rigid house? It's something I'm still considering. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. When it comes to living in the rigid house, rent is going for $1,000 a month as you probably saw on my Twitter we do got the uh, the rigid pool under construction uh, we've been fixing up a lot of stuff the finished basement here people sleep on the rigid house we got nine bedrooms it's crazy three kitchens and five bathrooms three living rooms a movie theater gambling arcade area whole gym it's absolutely insane so we're looking to fill this out with quality uh, creators uh, you know and you could be aspiring for people living in the rich house you can be wanting to grow your own channel that's totally fine but I know I do need one or two ringers potentially in the house that work for Ridge Studios exclusively we're definitely entering in to a new chapter a new era of McGerry Nights and Ridge Studios I'm actually really excited. I'm excited I feel like we finally have a really strong foundation and yeah, feel free to like reach out to Jeffrey and be like, what the f bro? We wanted to see more of you on YouTube. No, uh, <laughs> as much as I did want Jeffrey to work for me, I respect this decision. I was pissed that day, but you know, you can't, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. What's important is that he's happy and that we can still get him in videos and it frees up the opportunity for somebody else to grow and learn. Who's like passionate and into this stuff. All right, guys, I'm excited mm -hmm. for these next videos. Love you, Jay's to death. And don't forget to keep it rigid. I'll be keeping my eyes out for the next MJ and Cameraman. Peace. Want to wake up to smoother, brighter skin? Oh. You know, like I said, um, Jesse had some points. Jeffrey had some points. They both had good points, but I understand Jeffrey. Don't give guys, don't give Jeffrey any hate. But also, let's talk about the camera competition or oh, cam. Looking for the camera. If you guys think you can do that? You know, hit him up. You know, like if you guys are good with camera work and stuff, hit them up. You know, it, it could be a good gig. You know, I think working for Jesse can be a cool thing. And for those of you who think $1,000 is crazy, think about what he just said. Think about all the stuff in his house. He's finished his basement with the arcade and stuff. Got the theater and stuff. Got the pool coming. So, I mean, $1,000 is not too bad, especially when you think about when you have multiple people and how much electricity, water goes up, Wi Fi, you know? So, it's $1,000 is not that bad, but. Uh, Excited for the new person. I still think that person moving into the house is Corin. I don't know. I just, from that one video that they posted and they were in Universal like two months ago and they saw Corin there, I don't know. Just made me think that. But what do you guys think happened with Jeffrey? I mean, we know he's getting married. He just said that he's getting a promotion and they're trying for babies next year. So what else could it be? I don't know. Uh, what else big could be happening for Jeffrey? So, I don't know. Unless Miranda is pregnant already. I don't know, but um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I love hearing guys' theories and stuff and suggestions, but I thought it was a good video. I'm excited for the future. 
Follow me on my socials. Follow Khan on Insta. Subscribe to Josh. Subscribe to his son's good Juggy. Subscribe to Dan. Subscribe to Jacob. Subscribe to Caleb. Subscribe to Colin. Guys, please subscribe to me. Please like and please comment. Again, check out the TikTok I made with my sister. I'm going to be making some TikToks tonight and probably some tomorrow. Mainly dancing ones. But, so check that out. And was, my TikTok's in the description. It's Casey So Random. Now, see you randomers in the next video. Peace.